Hey guys, I'm back for more Spider-Man PS4. New Game Plus. Hello, Spider. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. Black Cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri! You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. This just told me there's a new suit available, but it lied to me. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. This guy gets it. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the Raft's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the raft? It's a supermax prison, full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. <laughs> okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals. Basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <laughs> Hopefully They never will Oh no, 
Someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. And there's a me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Unintentional rhyme. <laughs> the thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. <laughs> More if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crook. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. The chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station's security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. <sighs> the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. I gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on wall.
kitchen. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that one. Hot stuff coming through. <laughs> In Paris. Just need to grab the bonding agent. <laughs> I threw a house party. Peter. Oh, Peter. I don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Improve the bacteria, but I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. What I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. Sound like Fred. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. I didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp keep working on it, it'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either.
Hey, Pete. This station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now, it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. There. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. I need to be ready for a sudden change. That's the downside of all the tech in my mask. That hurt. One down. But I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. The crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Got it. The job's only halfway done. <laughs> oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime. That one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. It's getting to be a tight squeeze. Okay, let's not do that again. Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. I want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah. I say Spider-Man should let the police handle crime at least six times a day, and that's on my day off. And for once, that is exactly what happened. When Officer Jefferson Davis stopped a truck full of armed cripples. Another camera. Looks like Black Cat, all right. Oh, poor Spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection? I think they sell rare wine here. She's branching out. Gotta try and get ahead of... Yeah. Yes.
one to two, which is the which is better. <laughs> okay, now we get two. <laughs> yeah. data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. I think I checked it out. Kind of sucks. Oh, 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 that one smelled. <coughs> Just a couple more. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> one more should do it. <coughs> Like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures, just like the old bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. Keeper. Yeah. Four is actually decent, but yeah. Should be. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Surviving the internet's actually kind of fun. Bring your 
children into the room, friends, because I'm delivering a lesson impressionable youngsters need to hear. My guest today is a man who learned the hard way that dressing up like Spider-Man isn't cool. Go ahead, sir. Well, I, I wanted to fight crime and help people, and I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I put on a costume like his and try to do what he does. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa, the pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Spider plumber. <laughs> Better than duct tape. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. 
Why is this being so fucking retarded? Just there we fucking go. Last one, but those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high, unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Because they can. Yep, that'll do it. I better clear it before something bursts. Now I ask. How many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? <laughs> now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped the public utility meltdown. Spider-Man, shoot away. Heard reports of Spider Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get high. Knowing Spider Man's weak moral character and thrill seeking personality, I guess the same principle is at work here. But inhaling toxic substances also damages the brain, which actually explains a lot about Spider Man. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but... That seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. <laughs>
Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. Cameras aren't cheap. If Felicia's really strapped, why is she leaving them lying around? I love making you chase me, Spider. Someday I might even let you catch me. Just not today. Found you. Black Cat does enjoy playing games with people, especially me. energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. P-51 
people could get hurt, and it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down, and I don't have long to do it. Definitely a target-rich environment. That's more interesting. Oh shit. Maybe someday there'll be a billboard of me. That doesn't say menace on it. I gotta hit each screen individually. Bring back sign painting. I have New Vegas for my 360, which is backwards compatible on the one, so. Tackiness? Yeah. I mean, saying something as someone who's not generally a PC gamer. It's actually very convenient. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, we can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so... I bet this station's in the clear. Jesus took the wheel. <laughs> are infected with a serious strain of avian flu and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans okay harry's lab had everything i needed to make a vaccine gotta spread it fast the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague my best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points luckily the station told me where they are first migration points in a park Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Jesus.
Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. <laughs> I would have said envelope, but okay. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. <laughs> okay, that should work fast. I better scan some pigeons to make sure. Did it. No zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. <laughs> that algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Oscorp. 
I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Repeat that. Got nervous, I guess. Got an itchy web finger. back to the lake and turn this loose. Tailored to toxic algae, it won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause here and continue on the next one.